I just woke up, so don't mind me signing back. But week two of the season, we got the Bucks and the Bears. Obviously, this is week two. Obviously, it's in screen. And this is obviously going to be probably a must-win game for us. Because after the performance last week, you would expect the Bears to do their absolute best to bounce back and win. In a situation like this, we had a winnable game last week. And this week is probably like a break. Like we have a better chance. But we'll talk about it in the video. And yeah. So let's start off with the offense. And the reason why I'm showing orange for Justin Fields is because the Bears are wearing orange t tomorrow. And I'm, I hate it. But offense was absolutely terrible. I know Justin Fields do for like 200 yards and like a touchdown, but did throw an interception, which was a pick six. And I did say turn the game off, so I watched the highlights. Offense was terrible. When I watched it, horrible. We couldn't convert on third down. We couldn't score a touchdown. We kept kicking field goals. We kept fumbling. We kept throwing screen passes every play. Claypool does not know how to block or play for us. So this was possibly our worst offensive performance I've seen in a while. We had some sparks, but like that was not enough. And offense just need to step up. Now on to Tampa Bay's offense. They played decent. I didn't watch the game, but I heard that Baker did enough to win the game. And obviously that's a big difference because he has good receivers. He has a decent running back. His O-line isn't that bad. I mean, Tampa's O-line is not good, but it's better than ours. So Tampa Bay has the better offense, and they played better. And I can't admit that they did play Minnesota, but they still showed that they have a decent offense, despite the fact that they don't got Tom Brady no more, despite Leonard Fournette, Fournette not being there. And... But they still got, still got to remember, they still got a very good offense. And that is all you really need for this team. Now let's go to defense. Chicago defense last week got absolutely killed by Aaron Jones. We could not stop him a bit. Like, he was literally killing us every single step of the way. We couldn't stop the run. We couldn't stop the pass. It was just horrible. And I'm watching and... Again, like, I can't. After seeing it in the second half, like, we fell apart. Our defense was fine in the first half. And then in the second half, it just absolutely collapsed. Like, I don't understand what happened or what made us start to lose that momentum that we had in the first half. But it needed just to step up. And it did not do any favor in that game. Like, I think... Kyler Gordon is hurt, so he won't play. Um, Jalen Johnson, Eddie Jackson, Errol, everybody just sucked. Besides Yannick Nagakwe, he was just going crazy. But still, like, everybody just fell apart. And we can't do that if we have to play against good receivers, like top 10 receiving duo in the league. And knowing how bad our defense has been, no, yeah, these last two seasons... It's been terrible. If our defense was good and we had a 2018 level defense, then I'd be happy and I wouldn't work. But no, our defense sucked and it got to get better. On to Tampa's defense. They did decent. I know they allowed Addison and Jefferson a lot of yards. But again, like their defense is pretty good. They got good linebackers. They got a good defensive rush. The problem is... They're old. Like Shaq Barrett, Devin White, Antoine Winfield, Jamel Dean, if he's still there, are like getting old. They're starting to get older. They're starting to lose a little step. I'm not saying they fall off, but they're starting to lose it a little bit. So they're going to have to trust their rookies to make plays and pl make plays on the ball and, like, just, I don't know, just do good because I don't know. They just, somebody, I don't know who it was, one of the safeties allowed Addison to get a touchdown. That's all I saw. But their defense, it's not as 2020 when they won the Super Bowl defense, but it's still some of the same players. 
And knowing the Bucks D line is pretty good, they definitely have an advantage over us. Because the Bears have the worst offensive line. Still. Still. And I'm still mad that we traded. We we didn't get Jalen Carter, but who who cares? Like their D line will get past us, and that is a big problem. Knowing how bad the Bears been, it's not good. So I do get Tampa Bay winning this game. Um, I'm thinking, knowing how bad we've played, and knowing like we're not there yet, I do think it'll be probably like a 23 to like 14 or 24 to 14. I don't see us doing that good, honestly. Plus, we're in orange. We never win in orange. But it's a road game in Tampa Bay, and we never, ever win in Tampa Bay. Remember the last time we played Tampa Bay? I don't care if Tom, Tom Brady was there or not. Blah, blah, blah. Still, just no. I don't think we can win this game. And if we win, I'll be happy. But right now, I don't think it's going to happen. If we win, I wouldn't be so shocked, but I'd still be kind of shocked. So that's the game.